This man opened his mouth and said that he doesn't need Nigerians in his house. Hello, welcome to my channel once again, once again, once again. It's been a long time, it's been a long time, but we are back. We are back. Yeah, today the story that I'm bringing to you, I don't know. A certain man, he's actually on TikTok. Um, Onyechi David, if I pronounce the name right. He is saying he has been in Ghana for like 12 years and he went out to look for a room or an apartment for his fellow Nigerians. He's actually a Nigerian and he went out to look for an apartment for his fellow Nigerians and he was surprised. He was able to get some of the apartments. That apartment belongs to a Nigerian. He has been living here for a very long time and to his surprise, the Nigerian landlord said he is not going to give his apartment to Nigerians. He was surprised, right? like he was shocked. And he took, he took to social media to come and talk about it. But you know, I want us to watch this video as I always do. Then when we come back, we talk about it. Hello, my people. I hit it again because this is all I see and I, when I see them, I have to tell my people, please, we are here crying that when you are looking for a house, for an apartment in Ghana, landlords, landladies will be telling you that they don't need Nigerians and we begin to wonder what the problem is all about and when you are wondering in that form, it simply means that you have seen yourself as a genuine and a good person and somebody else somewhere is is is, is putting your uh, uh rubbing your your name on the mall so what i'm trying to say now is we have a whole lot of people doing that and the one that baffles me this morning is that i went to look for a house for somebody and it happened that it was a Nigerian, a Nigerian that owns this house, this particular house I'm talking about. Do you know what happened? This man opened his mouth and said that he doesn't need Nigerians in his house. A Nigerian who had just built a house said he doesn't need Nigerians in his house. My question is, when the agent, one of the agents, a Ghanaian, heard this, he, 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 he asked me, Mr. David, Please, can you, did you hear what that man said? I say yes. I, what do you think about it? I say, I'm confused. Because this is a Nigerian saying that he doesn't need Nigerians in his house. So, what are you teaching the Ghanaians? If you say as a Nigerian that you don't need a Nigerian in your house. And when I came to complain, another Nigerian who I know too well also told me that he, he went to look for a house and a, a man a Nigerian also said that he didn't need a Nigerian in his house, that he was confused. I thought it was only me that I just heard about it. I just heard about this thing just the first time. I didn't know that it has been lingering for so long. Please, Nigerians, what do you want? What exactly, what are you calling yourself? Because you are just embarrassing yourself. What are you calling yourself? Because where I've lived in three, four places, and all the landlords, as I'm a Nigerian, of course I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana, I've lived in four, three places, and everywhere I have lived, the landlords and the landladies are still my friends, even, 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 even as I have packed out of their houses. They still love me because they, knew, they know that when I was living with them, I, I did not constitute any nuisance. They see me as a good person. Even somebody, one of them was saying that because of me, he has, he has fallen in love with Nigerians. So why must a Nigerian be using such words on Nigerians? This is very bad. I have to say it so that you will learn from it. You will know what is happening. Thank you so much, my people. And may the peace of the Lord be with you. Amen. So you see the explanation that he's given. I understand his frustrations, you know, um, but I'm surprised he said he doesn't know the reason why. This is one thing I'm surprised because he has lived in Ghana for, he said, 12 years. You see, a Nigerian living in Ghana for over 12 years, by now you should know the reason why Ghanaians are not giving or even Nigerians who have built their houses in Ghana 
are not giving their houses to Nigerians. Not, not long ago, I think all of us, we saw in the news what a certain Nigerian did, bringing some girls from Nigeria, 16, 17, to come and do prostitution in Ghana. You know, these are some of the things some Nigerians are doing, not all Nigerians, because as I have been saying all the time on my channel that I have a lot of Nigerian friends. I know how they are. And I'm telling you, I'm surprised this man doesn't know the reason why. But we all know. We have some few Nigerians who, it seems like, I don't know, like whether they are like a gang or a group who are, or like who have decided to just destroy the name of Nigeria by just traveling to different countries to do bad things just to destroy the name of Nigeria. I just don't know. Or that is how they are. So this thing has actually spread across the whole world. It's not even peculiar to Ghana, but everywhere. Let's be honest everywhere so if we are talking about nigerians outside nigeria causing mayhem and harm to they are a lot man they are a lot so i'm surprised to be honest mr onyechi david i'm surprised please you can follow him on tiktok yes onyechi david i'm surprised You've lived in Ghana for like 12 years and you are going to look for an apartment for Nigerians and you don't know this. I'm surprised, man. But as I said, we all know the bad things that some Nigerians do in Ghana that has affected even the good ones. That is the problem. But for me, I always say I'm hoping and praying that one day, one day, this thing will change. This thing will change. And also, I feel like every good Nigerian, when you go out there and you do something, I feel like just also you also preach to the people that you are also a Nigerian for them to know the difference between the bad nuts and the good ones, you see? And that I think will help you guys, you see? It's something that you really, really need to do because if you don't and this thing continues, it is going to be like that, like that, like that and everybody's just going to hate on Nigerians. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm here, I'm back, and I'm going to be giving you back-to-back, back-back, back content. Thank you. This man opened his mouth and said that he doesn't need Nigerians in his house. A Nigerian who had just built a house said he doesn't need Nigerians in his house. My question is, when the agent, one of the agents, a Ghanaian, heard this, he, 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 he asked me, Mr. David, Please, can you, did you hear what that man said? I say yes. I, what do you think about it? I say, I'm confused. Because this is a Nigerian saying that he doesn't need Nigerians in his house. So, what are you teaching the Ghanaians? If you say as a Nigerian that you don't need a Nigerian in your house. And when I came to complain, another Nigerian who I know too well also told me that he, he went to look for a house and a, a man a Nigerian also said that he didn't need a Nigerian in his house, that he was confused. I thought it was only me that I just heard about it. I just heard about this thing just the first time. I didn't know that it has been lingering for so long. 